I really like the open front with canopy door, and it seems well made, and the price is good for the downsides, this weighs as much as my Lynx mountaineering tent, but says it's lighter by half a pound, but more importantly, the single stave will be difficult on a beach, too unstable, you'd need big plastic screw downs to anchor it to sand and, it's a bit short, I'm 5 feet 7 inches and my head hits the stave and the roof brushes against the back and front of my head also, if I'm really tired, I like to set my tent up and use my weight to keep it in place, plus my backpack, I don't want to have to think about anchoring it to the ground unless I decide to stay an extra day. In order to do this you need two ribs to give the tent support but if Campbell's make this style of tent with two ribs, I'll be back to buy it, because I love the canopy door, and it is well made. If you are a small person I could see this tent being perfect, for its price. I think this is probably an amazing tent. However, if you are 250 pounds and 6 featuring 1 it tends to feel a bit more like an MRI chamber than a place to sleep. Height wise, you pretty much have to get in already lying down. There is no sitting up in this tent unless you have an unzipped and you're really actually sitting on the floor of the tent with your head outside of it. I suppose that's what the vestibule held up by poles is for. I, for one did not bring my poles on my little one night stay in the backyard of an Airbnb. Excited to try this out next spring for a backpacking trip. Very light, packs down small, one stake down, it seems sturdy, was worried about a one ridge pole design the sleeve for the ridge pole feels like cheap vinyl leather shorts or something. I worry that will be the first thing to go. I will be careful to not rip the tent, as it isn't the most durable in construction. For the price, I'm happy with this tent.